We're coming up on Seder night. And one of the biggest aspects of Seder night is the mitzvah of v'higadata lebincha. The mitzvah of telling over the story of Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim to our children. Bezrat Hashem, some of us will be giving over the story to our literal children on Seder night. But what about for the rest of us? What about for the people who don't have children yet? What about the, the people who are not married yet? What about the people who are just out of yeshiva and seminary? On the flip side, there may be people whose kids are out of the house and they're having Seder by themselves. What's the mitzvah of Yigat Labincha then? What's the mitzvah if we're at the table? Where maybe in this generation, if we're sitting at a table where maybe we even know more than our parents. What's the mitzvah of Yigat Labincha? Of telling over the story of Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim to our children. So the Nesiv Shalom brings out beautifully. What's the mitzvah of Yigat Labincha? On a deeper level, the idea is, is that we're digging down inside and we're meant to bring out the inner child that's inside of us and tell the story over to that child. You know, when you read a book to a child, you begin at the beginning, you go through the book, you tell the story, and you close it and the book's over. Like for so many of us, when we finish a book, when we finish a safe, when we finish something, we close it, it's over, it's, we, we understand it now, it's good. But a child, again. What do you mean again? The child says, no, no, again, I want to read it again. And you're sitting there going to yourself like, but we just read it, you know exactly what's going to happen. We've, you, we, we just finished the book. No, no, again. And what's amazing is when you open up the book again and you read the book to the child a second time, that day, that night, the next day you read it another time, the next day you read it two or three more times, the key, every time they look with wonderment in their eyes as they hear the story again. You turn the page and they want to know, they already know what's going to happen, but they want to know what's going to happen. That's coming to a story with the eyes and the mind and the heart of a child. And that's what's being asked of us on Seder night. We know the story of Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim already. Some of us have already been preparing for Hashem through these videos. We've been preparing with Shirim. We've been preparing with Haggadahs. We've, been, we've gone through the Haggadah to prepare for Seder night. We know what's going to happen. Not just do we know what happened in Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim. We know what's happening in the Haggadah. What's the excitement all about? Where, where's the Chiddush coming from? And the answer is, no, no, no. That's not where the Chiddush is meant to be. It's not in the fancy schmancy Devar Torah that somebody prepared that's 20 minutes long, that's on some nuance of... So that's beautiful. And, it, and but is it really drawing people in at the Seder? What's drawing people in? What's drawing children in at the Seder? That's what the Seder's about. What's drawing the children in? It's telling that story again with excitement and with passion and inside of us to let out that inner child that even though I know the story, I don't care. The child within me is so excited to hear the story again, to hear how crazy it is when we went down, to hear the torture and the servitude that we went through. We go through the Eser Makot. I don't care if we've heard them before. See them with new eyes. See them with a child's eyes, like you're hearing them for the first time again. That's the Kiddush. You're hearing them for the first time again, like a child every time who hears it again. It's all for the first time. You go through the Mako, you go through Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim, you go through Yitzhiyas Yamsuf. To see it with the eyes and the mind and the heart of a child. Speak to the child within myself. Let out that child inside of myself. We're coming to Pesach, the Sfarim bring down. Pesach. It's a conjunction of the words Pe and Sach, the mouth that speaks. We get back our koach adibor on Pesach. We get back the ability to speak on Pesach. And so as we're restarting, we're being birthed as a nation, a fresh new year, a new year for ourselves as each individuals. The child is able to come out now. And we're going to start to be mechanic that child. But don't just get lost on the chinuch. Let's not just get lost on what we're going to tell the child. Let's also get lost in being the child this Pesach. Be that child who hears the story again for the first time. Bezrat Hashem, we should all have an uplifting Seder. The child inside of us should come out and we should hear that story with excitement and with fervor that gives us the koach to come out into that year fresh as a new free Jew to serve a Baruch for the coming year. Bezrat Hashem, all of us.